hi guys welcome to this tutorial in this video we will see how you can connect Google sheet with your WooCommerce store using the WooCommerce Google sync plugin just developed by the end media so I hope you have downloaded the free version of the Google sync plugin from the WordPress repository and installed so once you have installed uh, you should go under the settings of WooCommerce and here you see the Google Sync tab and here you can see there are two types of credentials you need to provide before you use this plugin so one is for the Google credentials and second is for the WooCommerce API so let's see how we can get it started with the credentials so for the Google credentials, you should go to the console.dwellparts.google.com and the link is provided in the below description. So once you are in your Google console, uh, so you should go for the projects and then add the new project. And in the new project menu, just name your project like uh, my store google sync or whatever you want and uh, it will create uh, the project and it will take a uh, few seconds so let's wait for this and here enable the apis and search for sheet and you will see the Google Sheet API and enable this for your project after it is enabled the API we will then add the credentials okay once your project is created then you should go to the credential menu from the left and here you need to configure all auth consent screen select external and then click create and you can set your application name and remember we are not going to submit this application for approval because it is just uh, for your own website use so you just can use it privately so let name it like google sync unique okay here you see your auth screen is configured and uh, now you go to the credential again and here you need to create uh, OAuth client ID select application type as a web application and name is you can type name as uh, google sync web client or whatever you want and then you need to add authorized javascript uh, origin so again you need to provide the domain address and uh, the authorized redirect uris and you need to copy it from your website under this setting and here I am pasting okay that's that's it so you need to download your your JSON file somewhere in your system and when it is downloaded so just copy the whole string in this file and paste here and uh, that's it for the Google credentials and for the WooCommerce API you need to go the advanced tab and uh, here under the rest APIs you just need to create new API keys if you don't have it already and I have already created the API keys 
so you will have the api secret and api consumer key and api the key secret key so you need to paste it to the same place and save your changes so once the changes have been saved now let's see how to connect so allow this now you can see you can uh, import the products and the categories from your google sheet so first of all we need you need to make a copy of demo sheet we have already created and link is given here so now you go to file make a copy and you just name it uh, like uh, my store connect and that's it so just copy your sheet id and let me close the original one and uh, here in the settings in the google sheet id i will paste my sheet id and now my sheet is connected with the store and here the demo entries let me explain the sync column it is very important sync column is one main it is synced means these rows are added into your store so if these are null or empty then these data will be added or synced into your store so in my demo i i set it one but you need to disable or empty this like this and uh, okay if i go to my store categories and you don't see any any category with the name of toys and uh, sports here so let me sync and here you see total two rows updated and if i see in my sheet the id are pulled from my store back to sheet and the sync is also set to one by the api and if i go to my categories and uh, you can see here is the sport and the ties categories are added and uh, let me quickly edit the twice category like twice for fun right and update so you see my sheet is also updated back from uh, store so the changes can be made on site are available to the sheet and uh, if you want to add more categories just provide the categories name and you can also provide the slugs and parents and description and these will be added back to your store so similarly in the products we have added all the attributes and uh, you just need to add your own products and the same way you need to disable the sync or empty not disable the empty sync column in order to sync into your store so let me let me delete these two rows uh, i just want to add these two products and i have a description for the one product and let me let me empty it and uh, if you see at the end we have the images column and the categories and if you want to attach the categories to this product so you can just add the categories IDs like uh, uh, the category ID is one to one for toys and so let me set the category one to one and for the other product it is one to one 
and for images you need to provide the ID of uh, the attachment so if you go back to our site and go to media and uh, here in the media you will see a list of all your images okay here is the ID of the image is 1154 so I will use the same ID it's just for the test purpose 1154 and 1154 so so you see I have added the categories and the images you can add the tags and uh, you can add the other information uh, for, for each column like SKU the regular price is uh, 200 and for second product let me set 100 is regular and 50 is a sale price so okay so let me sync uh, my products select the products from the drop down and uh, click sync okay two rows updated cool let me see in the products and uh, here you see the two products are just imported with the same images because the ID was the same and here you see the price for the second products is the regular and the sale price and you can also see the categories are attached uh, set in the sheet so you see how we can easily import or sync our products from our Google Sheets to our store and if I make uh, any change uh, in my product uh, like uh, let me update its uh, price uh, let me set is 300 and uh, here you see the price is updated from 200 to 300 so the products can also be synced back to your sheet from your store so that's it I hope you like this new plugin to import or sync your all products from your Google Sheet where you can easily add your products in the sheet and you can connect the multiple stores with your Google Sheet to import products so if you want to buy this product just visit najimmedia.com slash google sync